Good morning, good morning. Welcome to 4 by 8 Paper Stuff. I am, I can't remember, day 12 in my passport positivity. Positivity passport, but I got distracted by this child. Uh, this was yesterday, Sunday, for us, and it started calmly. And then, she's supposed to stay flat on that tube behind the boat, but she's nine, so she never follows directions. And she kind of is a free spirit when she goes off wacko. So she does a lot of this when she's supposed to be flat. And we laugh at her and she has no fear. The rest of my weekend was spent doing that. And I couldn't stop. And I forgot to make a video for this morning. And I never promise when my videos are going to be out. But I do kind of keep to a regular time. Especially now that I can schedule them. Uh, the day before, and I guess schedule them for the same time every day, which is in the middle of the night here, but in other parts of the world, because I hopefully am watched more globally. Um, it's not in the middle of the night where they are. So I didn't have a plan, which I never do. I try not to. I try to work intuitively. I try to let the paper dictate the method of how I'm going to work. Um, but I realized at four o'clock this morning that I hadn't put a video out and what am I going to do? So I said, well, quilts are on my mind. Here we go. So I kind of replicated the quilt that I made this weekend. Yes, I made an entire quilt top. Well, I have two side borders to go, but I made the entire quilt this weekend. And, uh, I don't often do that with a quilt. I work a little slower. A lot of times I do them by hand, so it's very much slower. But for some reason, during COVID, I have gone quilt crazy. And this is my fourth quilt that I've been working on since we've been locked down. And I consider ourselves locked down. Because we are listening to the science, and we're being very cautious about what we do in public, which is grocery shopping and to Lowe's hardware store. That's just about it. Um, and otherwise it's spent. Luckily we have an environment in our backyard that we can play with <laughs> freely. Um, but we limit our contacts to our granddaughter and the neighbors pretty much. Um, so I decided in the middle of the night when I realized I didn't have a video, I said, oh my goodness. Well, I guess I'm going to paint my quilt. So. These are called log cabin blocks, and you build them from the center out, and on one side is color in this particular pattern for me, and the other side are gray scales. <coughs> so I'm trying to replicate that. Sometimes when I sew, I make mistakes and I get ahead of myself, even if I don't have a pattern per se, I'm just using strips of fabric, which is the case this time. And I did that a couple times with the paint. I forgot where I, which side I was on of the cabin and put the logs down in the wrong order. Um, in my quilt, they're all facing the same direction. On this piece of paper, they didn't want to face the same direction, um, which is fine. <coughs> and I love now, I usually love the end result, and I'm can say I don't want to sound conceited when I say I love my work, because I don't consider it my work. I consider it the products, mostly the paper telling me what to do. And in this case, it was the fabric and the paper telling me what to do. And I love how that comes together, and I never know my end result until it's done. Um, and I... That's how I can say I love my end result, and I love how it, this worked out. There's where I make three squares, three sides gray. No, 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 that's wrong. Anyhow. Um, and really and truly, I'm letting the paper tell me what to do, so maybe he wanted to be three-sided. But I tried to, no pun intended, box him in, and I end up changing that at the last minute. <clears throat> Anyhow, um, these are all the Dina Wakely and Diane Ravely's um, acrylics that I absolutely love, mainly because 
those other bottles. The paint is not, I love some of the colors for sure, but the paint is not the draw, it's the little tiny bottles. And so I'm letting these little tiny bottles tell the paper what colors they want to be and putting logs down on paper. And then my paintbrush went rogue and I added a little border. Now in my quilt, I have what they call a piano key border because it looks like a string of piano keys perpendicular to the pattern I had already been putting down. And I have two more sides of that to do and then this quilt is, the quilt top is done. Then it needs to be matched up to something on the back and sandwiched in between will be um, cotton batting and then you can quilt it. <clears throat> um, I, I, I have to say, again, I love how this turned out. And then I really didn't have a quote ready. I didn't know what I was going to use. I have a few picked out, um, but none of them seem to apply in my thought process to this particular page. And I thought, well, I'm just winging it here. I'm going with the flow. So that's what it had to be, going with the flow. And these logs flowed into patterns on this paper. There's where I collect my two, three gray squares logs and it all comes together and it all works and then I added a little bit more gray in places that weren't supposed to be gray but it, it's going with the flow. This is where I went really rogue and um, or inspirational or the paper told me to do it whichever way you want to look at it. This is so freeing. I encourage you to put lines on paper always and use lots of colors and it's a great way to start your day even when you wake up in the middle of the night and think I don't have a video ready for tomorrow I forgot because I was playing in the water with a silly little girl that goes with the flow uh, and a sweet husband that deals with us in all of our craziness so thanks for watching go with the flow. I highly recommend it and I will see you all tomorrow. Oops, there she goes again. Going with the flow. See you all tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye.